Okay, welcome everyone. As we uh, are happy to greet everybody back at home base here in uh, Good Israel Bezev. And uh, we are sponsored by AB Spry with uh, Tefillah for All Our Soldiers and Haidala uh, Kurdish Baruch for some good news that he received today and for the safety of all of Klal Yisrael. Um, we uh, are also sponsored by Shimon Klein, Lim Nishmas Asher Anshim Ben Yehuda, Gidda Bashim and Pinchas, by Irving Fishbaum, Lerfu Shalema, for Issa Ben Razel and Eliezer Ben Razel. And uh, we uh, also are sponsored by Berish Gessiman. He's going to sponsor the Chumash here, but tonight is also the yard side of his father. Shmuel Chaim and Yaakov Moshe. Chaim and Yaakov Moshe should have a lichtig again. Aiden, we learn also Lila Nishmas Chaim Shalom Arye Ben Eliyahu Akayin and Shlaima Eliyaz. Oh no, we learn Lufu Shlaima for Yosef Ben Rezel. That's our cover. Hakol here, Yosef Apachinsky, who is in going into surgery tomorrow. Leilenu, a pickable accident. Uh, in pickleball, you cannot backpedal. You have to turn to the side on a lob. And uh, he didn't know that. And uh, he should have a refu shalema. And also for shalema Eliezer, ben al should have a refu shalema b'seik sheikh el Yitzvah. Um, we uh, are, are holding with um, Omer Mar, Three lines from the top of Daf Kuf Gimel Amad Aleph. Now, if you remember, we were talking about a case. Uh, Kuf Gimel. Kuf Gimel Amad Aleph. Three lines from the top. Uh, if you remember, in this case, since Marshall is not here, uh, Mark seamlessly steps in Marshall's place without any problem whatsoever. Uh, you know, uh, he also has that type of uh, skullduggery in his eyes. Uh, the uh, so anyway, what happened over here was is that uh, Marshall was brought, b- buying a property from Baruch Ian, and uh, he didn't want anybody to you know start coming out of the woodworks that it's really not Baruch Ian's property. And uh, six, 60 years ago, they were from the pioneers in Florida, and it was really their property. You know, he didn't want anybody. So Mark said that he was buying it for the Reish Galusa. So he said that uh, if uh, he says to Baruch, I'm buying it on the condition that you make me another star, so, you know, because he wants to have a star in his name, so then Baruch has to do that. So let's see this, let, if, if however he didn't make the condition, so then Baruch doesn't have to do it. So, Amar, three lines from the top of Kuf Gimel Amad Aleph. Uh, you know, very, very poor manners. I didn't welcome in everybody. You know, we welcome in Irving and A.B. Spry, Menachem Yemansky, Mark Frankel, Eddie Chazan, Stephen Holtzman, Shelley Zeitlin, Mel Zachter, Shalom Fogel, Aaron Swade, Baruch Ian, Shimon Deer, Dr. Guy, Yisrael Fisher, we wish a Rafu Shalema, Ruven Pollock, Harrison Kletzel, Rabbi Kranz, um, Nachman Chapler, uh, Avram Rezepkowitz, Moshe Lehman, Elia Schutman, Yitzi Muller, Abe Arbach, Yitzi Fuchs, Yitzi Padower. Um, uh, 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 I, I think there's a, a, a Naftali Javelin here. Um, uh, and uh, we. Uh, we now are joined by Pesach Siegelman, who is joining us. Um, here in the shul, we have Barish Gessiman, uh, we have Gedalia Engel, uh, Reb Kramer, Rich Lenner, Michal, uh, Ruven Shannon, and Saba. Uh, wonderful to have all of you, and I hope that the new member that we're going to have, he's going to be a regular also. He's going to try at least, he says. Gets up very early in the morning, so we're going to teach him how to take a nap during the day. Uh, and uh, and we have to have what we have to have over here is is we have to have a siesta hour. You know that people take a siesta. You know they have a good lunch and then they take a siesta. Now, I'm sure the doctors say that that's very healthy, but anyway. 
the, um, uh, uh, the, the so anyway, I'm a man. Halikach saw the b'shem chaveray. Mark buys the field from Baruch, and he says that he's buying it for the Reish Galusa. We don't force Baruch to sell it to him a second time. So the Gemara says, Pshita. That's obvious. What is, what is Baruch uh, in the court stenography business? Mao the same. And now remember, we learned that Mark, in order that, you know, the Reish Galusa should just not come and walk away with the property, Mark silently told the witnesses and Baruch, that he's really buying it for himself. And he's only doing it so that nobody should make problems and claim that it was stolen property. So Mao de Seima, I might think, Motsi Amale, that, that even without a condition, he could tell uh, Baruch Ian, Mede Yodis da nolin afshoi shakilna. You know that I bought it for myself. And I only said it in the name of the Reish Kalusa for security. And of course, and I'm not throwing away money. You know, I'm, I'm going to need proof. It must be the Kosovo Shtar Achrina, that you're going to write me another Shtar. So Kamash Malan Baruch says, look, I thought you made a deal with the Reish Kalusa that he's going to sell it to you again. The uh, Amalei, uh, in yo, in yona in yona avido lach badi, I thought that in yona avido lach badi, I would deserve my mishmei that you made a uh, deal with the reish kalusa v'yichtov lach star chrina, and he'll write you another star. However, the im amoloy almanas, but if uh, Mark tells Baruch on the condition that you write me another star. Then, then we force Baruch to write him another star, that I'm a, a, a private star that he's selling it to, to Mark. So the Gemara says, well, Pshita, that's obvious. If he makes the condition, then obviously Baruch has to do it. Says the Gemara, it's talking about the Amalu Lissade Kamei where he says, not to Baruch, but he says to the witnesses in front of Baruch, Chazu dishtara achrina kabaina. See that I'm going to need another document. So Baruch says, well, I thought you meant that you're going to get another document from the Reish Galusa. Mao the same. What might I have I thought? Motsi Omole, That Baruch could wiggle out by saying, Amina shtara ma'ek de koshak comrade. I thought you meant that you're going to get a star from the Reish Galusa that you said you were buying it in his name. That he is going to sell it to you. Kamash Malan, Mark says to Baruch, if that's what I wanted, I wouldn't bother saying it in your presence. Kamash Malan, the Amalei, Lahochi Tarche, that's why I troubled. The Amru Le'enim, and I told the witnesses, Kamach, in front of you, because I want it from you. And therefore, since he made the condition, Baruch has to write him another star on the sly that he's selling it really to Mark. Now we're going to go back to a little bit of a ribis question. Um, and by the way, just to let you know what's in store, as we have 29 zoomers here, 29 zoomers. That's nice. Uh, just to let you know in store, we did the Mishni Yomis already. After this year, we're going to be doing a Chak. So uh, you're uh, welcome to join us. And if anybody wants to sponsor it, they'll let me know. Um, Rav Kahana, Yov Zuza Akisna. Rav Kahana uh, gave uh, uh, Mark money for flax. Lesaif, let's say he gave him a hundred dollars to buy him flax. Lesaif Ayakar Kisna. At the end, the flax went up in money. And Mark was able to sell it. He bought the flax. And Mark was able to sell it for 150 
And now, Mark is not a thief. Now, Mark wants to give Rav Kahana the $150. Because, you know, what happened was, is Rav Kahana gave Mark $100 for flax. Mark's dutifully bought it. He didn't deliver it. And then he heard that flax went up. So he quickly sold the flax and he got $150 for it. And now he wants to give Rav Kahana the $150. Now that looks like ribbis. Because Rav Kahana gave $100. And now, as he waited for his money, Mark wants to give him back 150. So, so says the Gemara, the Saifa Yaker Kisna, at the end the flax went from 100 to 150, Zovne Marvase the Kisna. And the owner of the flax sold it, got 150, and now he wants to give. Mark wants to give uh, Rav Kahana 150. Also, the coming to Rav. So Rav Kahana came before Rav. Amalei ma evet. What could I do? Ezel ishkul zuzai. Can I take the 150? It sure looks like ribbis. I gave him 100. Now I'm getting 150. So Amalei. So he told him, I kazovne. If when, if when. Mark sold the flax. Omre, he said, Hi, Kisna de Kahanu. I'm selling the flax of Rav Kahana. Uh, so then, Zil Shkol, then you could take it. Because that's not, he was acknowledging that it was your flax. So if it's your flax, he could sell it for more money. <laughs> so then, when he gives you back the 150, he's not giving you back payment that you gave him the hundred. He just sold your flax and he got $150 for it. Be loy, and if not, loy tishko. Then it, it, you can't take it back. So the Gemara says, come on. Now the Gemara thinks at this point that Rav Kahana made a Kenyan on the flax. When, 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 when he bought, gave the hundred dollars to Mark, and Mark had the flax, Rav Kahana made a Kenyan. If it was light, he picked it up. If not, he made Meshicha. So it was his flax. And yet we say that if, he, if Mark didn't say that I'm selling Rav Kahana's flax, then Rav Kahana can't pay, take back the $150. Now the Gemara wants to say that that's a raya Kiman, Kimnei Marava, like the people of Marava, the Imre that would say, if Mark didn't say it, Mi hoidio lebal chitin, who let, who let the, uh, the, the owner of the wheat, sheyikne chitin lebal mois, that he should give the wheat to the owner of the money. In other words, since uh, he, he, the, the one that is, uh, the one that is doing the, uh, transfer doesn't know about the identity of the real owner, how does he know to give it to him? So here the Gemara suggests if, he, if Mark doesn't say that it's for Rav Kahana, how does he know to transfer it to Rav Kahana? So the Gemara says, no, no, this doesn't make sense. Otu mi of Rav Kahana arb of tamne. Does, does Rav Kahana give four and take eight? Does he give a hundred and take a hundred and fifty? What happened was, is Rav Kahana bought flax. And the Gemara is learning now that he made a Kenyan for Mark on the flax. So then, Kisna Mamelahu de Yaker. His flax went up from a hundred dollars to a hundred and fifty. Then Mark sold it. Excuse me, Mark. How are you allowed to sell Rav Kahana's flax? It's, it's Rav Kahana's. Now, of course, Mark meant it for a good reason. He wanted to make for Rav Kahana money, but he can't sell it without Rav Kahana's permission. So then Migzel Gaza. So in reality, Mark stole the flax from Rav Kahana when he sold it. And therefore, 
when you steal it, you have to pay at the time of the stealing. Since at the time of the stealing, it's 150. That's why he has to give Rav Kahana 150. It has nothing to do with ribbis. So it, it doesn't make sense that it should ever be Mirza Karibis. And then Rab's Psak would not make sense. Rather, Omre Hosam Amonahavi. Over there, it was a trust system. Uh, what happened was, is Rav Kahana gave Mark $100, and he said to him, I want you to, it, he didn't make a Kenyan. It was done on trust. That's Amona means Amuna, faith. He, he, t- he told Mark, here's $100, and I want you to deliver me flax uh, during the year. The din is that if the market price already is fixed at the time where he gives him the hundred dollars, so then he could deliver him flax later on during the year, even if at that time the rate is one hundred and fifty dollars. The reason why is is that since Mark could have bought the flax right now and kept it, even if he gives them later on flax worth $150, that's not considered ribs. But he has to give them flax. He can't give them money. Because if he gives them money, that looks like ribs. And that's what the Gemara says over here. Imre Hossam Amonahavi. It was done on trust. And Rav Kahana didn't pull the Kisna. And Rav goes according to his reasoning. You could do it if you're giving back flax. Because if you're giving, if, you, if, if, Rav, if Rav Kahana gave him money and he gave back flax, that doesn't look like ribbis. But the ain't ice and I'm on a bedumming. But you cannot, uh, Kahana cannot give Mark money, let's say $100, and later on, six months later, he gives back to, to Rav Kahana 150 That you cannot do because that looks like ribs. Now, let, me, let me explain this. I, I was very verbal over here, but I don't know if I made myself clear. So let me explain how this works. Rav Kahana comes to Mark as uh, we welcome in Yeshua Shmuel Eisenberg, Yitzhi Muller. Uh, don't look now, but we already have 32 Zimus here this evening. Pretty, pretty nice crowd. And that's Gematria, as Mark knows very well. Lave, heart. And this is a very heartfelt cheer over here. Uh, the, um, where is Marshall? I mean, he, if he saw this, he would be getting the bourbon ready. Sandy Grunfeld has just joined us. Um, the... Uh, so again, let, let's go this over what the Gemara is saying over here. Rav Kahana comes to Mark and says, here's $100. I trust you that you'll deliver me flax during the year. As long as flax is available in the market now for $100, Mark can deliver him flax three months later, even though that flax now has a market value of 150 and that's not considered ribs, even though technically he, uh, Rav Kahana waited three months and he gave 100 and he's getting back 150. But since the market price of flax was fixed at the time when Rav Kahana gave him the $100 uh, for $100, so he could have bought the flax $100 then and held it and just it would have gone up to 150 by itself. So he can now deliver him flax, even though now it's worth 150. However, uh, in the event that he takes flax, sells it, and now Rav Kahana gave Mark a hundred dollars, and three months later he wants to give him 150, that he can't do, because that looks like ribbis. It looks like because he waited for his money and Mark had the use of the money for three months, he's now giving Rav Kahana 150 instead of 100. That's Mirza Karibis. Now note, 
I say milze karibis. It's not ribis. Because there was no agreement. To the contrary, the flax might not go up in value. So there was no agreement. It's only milze karibis. It only appears like ribis. Now, remember, and uh, it's a good thing we have a criminal like Mark around here with us. Um, if, if, if Mark steals something, swears that he didn't steal it, he then confesses, right? So Nishba, he swears and he confesses. He has to pay it back, plus a fifth, plus he has to bring a very expensive oshim. He has to bring a guilt offering. That's the oshim for Shavuot. Now, says the Mishnah, Hagoizel es kaveira shava pruta. Who is Mark stealing from? Uh, somebody with a very cute baby. I don't know, Mark. I mean, that's hitting below the belt. He's stealing, although Shimon has this cute baby with him. Uh, but Mark goes ahead and steals from Shimon. Uh, a shava pruta. Vinish baloi. He takes an oath. I didn't swear. Then he confesses. Although Shimon now took up re residence in Antwerp, if Mark wants to fulfill the mitzvah of rest restitution, Yoilichenu Akhrav even Lamadai. He has to go after him and return it even to Madai, even to Antwerp. Uh, now, that means that he cannot bring his carbon unless he returns it to Shimon. Lo yitein lo it's not enough to give it to his son. or to his secretary. Now, if, however, Shimon made him a shliach, then shluchah shalad and kamaisi, then it would be good. But this just means he can't say, listen, give it to your father, or give it to your boss. Avonais and l'shliach bezden. But he can give it to an agent of the court. Now, not... Uh, not Shimon Chatzim Shalom. The Emes, if he if Mark stole from Chatzkel, Yazul Yosha, he could return it to the ears. Nosan Leis Akeren, if Mark gave Shimon the principle, Vele Nosan Leis Akemish, if he didn't give him the fifth, Machal Leal Akeren, if Shimon was Michael him on the principle, Vele Machal Leal Akemish, he wasn't Michael him on the fifth. Machalay al Zev al Zeh, if you use Michael on both, Chutz me Pach Shava me Pruta me Karen, except for less than a Shava Pruta, which doesn't count, then ain't it so Chachrov, then he doesn't have to follow him to Antwerp. Because you don't have to follow the owner to give it back to the owner when it comes to the fifth. You only have to do it when it comes to at least a Shava Pruta of the principal. Nasan leyes achaimish. If he gave him the fifth, v'loy nasan leyes akaram, but he didn't give him the principal. Machal leyal achaimish. If Shimon forgave him for the fifth, v'loy machal leyal akaram, he didn't forgive him for the principal. Machal leyal zev al zev. If he forgave him for both, chutz mishava pruta bekaram, except for a shava pruta of the karen, makes no difference since there's a shava pruta of the principal left. He has to go to Antwerp. Tzarech leyluk achrov. Now let's say. Uh, <laughs> Mark is being impossible. Nosan leyes hakaren. He gave Shimon the, the principle, but then the nishbalei alachaymish. He swore that he also gave him the fifth. He swore that he gave him the fifth, and then he confessed that I didn't give you the fifth. Oh, now the fifth becomes the principle. So now he has to give a fifth on the fifth. Right? And we, Rich figured that out. He's our resident uh, accountant. He figured it out right away. You got to give a fifth of the fifth, and that's what the Mishnah says. Uh, and it keeps on going until it becomes less than a pruta. Until the principle is less than a shava pruta. Now this is true not only by stealing, but also the chaim where Shimon gave uh, Mark, a, a Rolex, uh, and this is not just any Rolex, but this is a platinum uh, limited number Rolex as a deposit. And Shimon asked Mark, could I have it back? 
And Shimon swore, uh, uh, Shimon asked Mark, he had his back. Mark swore that he never got it. And then he confesses. He has to pay it a fifth and uh, Oshim, and he has to return it to Shimon in Antwerp. The Chaimbi Pikadon, Shinemar, for these laws are uh, itemized in the Pasik. Oibi Pikadon, either a deposit. Now, it's an unusual word, but it means a loan. You have to know this. It's a good thing to remember for Yom Naraim when you say, Al-Chet means a loan. Um, or theft. Or about withholding the wage of a worker. Or if Mark found an article the Kichishba, and when Shimon says, give me back my wallet, Mark says, I never found the wallet, Vinishba al Shekhar, and then he swears falsely, and then he confesses, Harizem Mishan Karen V'chaimish, he has to pay the principal a fifth, and bring an Oshim, a guilt offering, and bring it all the way to Antwerp. Mark, I hope you have frequent flyer miles. Uh, the... Uh, See, see uh, Eddie Chazan is listening to this and he says, no problem, I always travel all over the place. No problem. Now, Nishbaloy in. The Mishnah is mashma that the only time that Mark will have to go to Antwerp is only where he swears to him and confesses. Loy Nishbaloy, loy. But not if he doesn't swear. Mani, who would this be going like? Loi Rabbi Tarfin, the Loi Rabbi Akiva. It seems to be not like Rabbi Tarfin and not like Rabbi Akiva. The Tanya, if you remember, we learned this in the Mishnah Yaimis. Gazal Echad. Gazal Echad Michamisha. If Mark steals from one of five people. And uh, he doesn't remember. Mark was a little bit uh, uh, bourbonized and uh, it was a little tipsy. And he doesn't remember which one he stole from. He doesn't know which one. And they take full advantage of this drunkster from Bela Kinwood. And he said, they say, And each one says, it was me. So Mark is not going to let these shysters get the better of him. He, let's say he stole a million dollars. So Maniak is Eilabeneim. He puts the million dollars between them. Um, Mustalik, and he heads back to you know Philadelphia. And so yeah, you guys fight it out. Dear Reb Taf, that's the opinion of Reb Taf. Reb Kiva, I'm Reb Kiva says, look, once he steals, he has a mitzvah of Eishev as Gzela. Reb Kiva, I'm a loyzu derech mitzios midayavayri. That's not the way to get out of uh, sin. He has to give a million dollars to each one. That was a costly drink you took. Boy, is that cost. If you wouldn't have been intoxicated, you wouldn't have to pay five million dollars. Now, here's the problem. When it says this, it says nothing about Mark swearing and then confessing. So, Mani, who's it going like? E. Rabbi Tarfin, if the mission would be going like Rabbi Tarfin, Reb Tarfin, who makes no distinction, never holds that Mark has to give the money directly to the person. He holds it's enough to put it in front of them. You could put the gazela between them and pack out. So Reb, no, Reb Tarfin holds even with a shmua, you don't have to give it to the person directly. And E. Reb Yakiva, who says that he has to give it to each one, that's even if he doesn't swear. He has to give it to each one. So the Gemara says, It's going according to Rabbi Kiva. And in this Mishnah in Yavamas, where it says that Rabbi Kiva holds, Mark has to put the million dollars to each one, it's only talking about where Mark swore. It's only because he swore, my time, because it's by Shvua that the Pasik says, the Amakra, there, where Mark swore and then confessed, 
In that Pesach, it says clearly, the one that it belongs to, he should give it on the day that he confesses his guilt. Rabbi Tarfin says, even if Mark swore and confessed, Ovid Rabbanan Takanta. The Rabbanan made a Takana that he doesn't have to return it to the one he stole it from. The Tanya Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Tzadik Aymer, Takana Gedoy Lehiskinu, Sheima Isai Tsoi Yeseira Ala Keren. If the trip to Antwerp is worth more than what Mark stole, here Mark stole a Tootsie Roll. Mark, you remember a Tootsie Roll? Oh, he does, okay. So, uh, they're still around, Tootsie Rolls? Oh, they are. Um, so anyway, Mark stole a Tootsie Roll, and the ticket to go to Antwerp is $1,300. So, they made a Takana, if the travel expense would be more than the principal, Mishalim Kerem V'chaymish L'Bezdin. He could give the Tootsie Roll and the fifth to Bezdin and Umevi Ashamai and bring his guilt offering or Miskapalai. So Rabbi Kiva says, yes, that's where you know who you're returning it to. Rabbi Kiva, Kiyovid Rabbanan Takanta, Heichidi Yodin Laman Gazli, where he knows who he stole it from. Mark goes and says to the Bezdin, you know, that uh, this is Shimon's Tootsie Roll. But Gazal Echad Mechamisha, but where you steal one of five people, the Lo Yod Laman Gazal, you don't know who you stole it from, the Lo Yod Memayna Lamari, there the money, if he puts it in front of them, they're going to fight about it, and they're probably going to end up splitting it five ways, that Shimon is not going to get his money, Lo Yod Rabban Takanta, and there Mark has to, you know, give it to all five people. Masiv Rab Hunabai Yehuda, so Rab Hunabai Yehuda says, I'm sorry, but this is not pshat. Masav Rav Huna by Yehuda, Am Rav Shimon Elazar, Lo Yinech Leku Rabbi Tarf and Rabbi Kiva. Rabbi Tarf and Rabbi Kiva are not arguing in a case of purchase. In other words, Mark was drunk when he bought something. Lo Yinech Leku Rabbi Tarf and Rabbi Kiva, Al Shalokach Echad Mechamisha. Where Mark bought from five people. And he doesn't know which person he bought it from. There, everybody, Reb Taf and Reb Kiva both agree that Mark could put down the purchase price in front of the five of them and tell them to fight about it. What do they argue about? Oh, where Mark is a thief. A thief is a much more serious business. Right? Mark stole from five people, one of five people. The any idea me is a man gazel. She reptarfin I'm a man niach to make zela be neam or mistalik. Reptarfin says that he could put the money and leave. Rabbi Kiva I'm a and Rabbi Kiva says ain't like takana at she is shalom gazela lekol echad beechad. Now says the Gemara, we wanted to say that this is talking about where Mark swore. The Esau could act of the ishtavich. If he swore and then confessed, why would it make a difference whether it's a purchase or stealing? Even if it was a purchase and he swore and he confessed, the Pasuk says you have to give it back to the one you stole it from. So, what's the difference if it was a purchase or a theft? And furthermore, Masav Rabbah, there was an incident with a pious man. We'll see that this was a very, very pious man. He bought from two people, and it was a quick uh, deal. And he couldn't identify, he thought they were honest people, he couldn't identify which was the seller, and both claimed that they were the seller. Obolifnei Reb Tarfin, and so the Chassid came before Reb Tarfin. Amalei Hanach Demei Mikcha Beinayim. Leave, leave the purchase price amongst these two guys. 
and you can leave. Omistalik. Rabbi Kiva and Rabbi Kiva told the Chassid, you got to give it to both of them. Ain't like Takonachi Yishan Gezela Lekol Echad Veechad. The only way they could do it, excuse me, Ain't like Takonach Gezela, the Chassid didn't steal it. Ain't like Takonachi Tishalim Lekol Echad Veechad. Now, obviously, it's not talking about where he swore and confessed, because the Chassid doesn't swear. The Yisrael Kedakta to the Mishtava, Chassid me Mishtava B'Shikra, with a Chassid swear falsely. So, suggest Gemara, maybe we mean that he became a Chassid afterwards. The Chitav in the Mishtava, he swore of a Hadarabi Chassid, and that's why he confessed. But when it says in Chazal, the term Chassid, it refers to specific people. It's either, the Chassid Echad is either O Rabbi Yehuda ben Bava, O Rabbi Yehuda ben Eloi, two of the greatest of the great. Rabbi Yehuda ben Bava, Rabbi Yehuda ben Eloi. And they were Chassidim from the get-go. Rabbi Yehuda ben Bava, Rabbi Yehuda ben Eloi, Chassidim ne'e karahab. So you can't say that Rabbi Kiva said his halacha only where he swore and he confessed. Because Rabbi Yehuda bar Eloi or Rabbi Yehuda ben Bava would not swear falsely. Eloilam Reb Tarfani. Our Mishnah that says that you have to take it to Antwerp is talking according to Reb Tarfin. And even Reb Tarfin is Maida, or Maida Reb Tarfin, Heicha de Ishtava. Reb Tarfin admits that if he swears and he confesses, then he has to give it to each one. Then he has to take it to Antwerp. My timer, the Amakra, La Sher Hulai, to the one. That is his Yitnenu Biyay Mashmasa. Now, Rabbi Kiva, who says that it's even in the case where he doesn't swear, Rabbi Kiva Afal Gav Deloy Mishtava Kanis. He 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 uh, penalizes him. He, he penalizes him. You have to be more careful. Rabbi Tarfin says uh, no. This this next question we're going to leave for tomorrow. Um, as we uh, now get ready, believe it or not, to learn a chak.